We're going to go to Alex Smith in Florida first. Alex, you're up with KW. Um, Kyle, man, when you said uh, you were 29, man, I was like, you are blowing me away. I'm 40 two now and i I feel like i could live another 10 or 20 years and not catch up Um, hey i'm an artist i'm supposed to go through all that right yeah i love it um i love art i got this awesome photo in the back uh, of me and i've always like really appreciated graffiti too and just kind of the different styles like you know when i was in high school i looked at different like cities and how like you know, like different work. Like I, I even wrote my name in graffiti. Like I'm not, you know, super talented, but I like, I liked, you know, bubble letters. So I wrote my name in bubble letters on my, you know, high school, (laughs) high school uh, bedroom. So that was fun. But um, I'm just like, before my question, I just wanted to say like, you, you had me thinking, you said two things that really struck me, struck me because I wrote a post on LinkedIn about this today. And I was listening to a, a podcast with, Ed Milet and Jay Shetty. If anybody, you know, listens to this podcast, I highly recommend it. I, I'm a podcast host myself, but um, On Purpose with Jay Shetty is such a good podcast. And they were talking about like, you know, sometimes in your life, like it's just one more thing. Like we don't realize that like, you know, when we're stuck, there could be just one more relationship, one more idea, one more like, you know, thing that gets us from just where we are to being like, you know, maybe like our big break or successful for you, like Cardi B or even just the robots, but like you, you created it from a place of just absolute like trauma and despair, which is amazing to me. And he, he said he, what, what kind of, you know, made me think about it is because he said, I think it was Ed in my life. He said like, our issue isn't vision, you know, like, it's like, Sometimes I'm like, where am I going to be in a couple of years? And like, I don't have a vision for where I want to be. And I'm like, I don't have a plan. Like I have, you know, things I want to do now, but I don't know where it's going to lead me. And I don't think like you had a plan for where the hell this was going to lead you, but you were just in the moment. Cause you just said like, I was just creating uh, what I was feeling in the moment. You said something like that. And that's where like the, the, the robots came from all these like, it was just from your place of emotion. You were like, oh, these robots are going to get me paid one day. Um, you know, you were just expressing yourself. And I thought that was really key. So I just wanted to tell you that um, that really struck me because like a lot of people can't really do that. Like he said, the issue wasn't a vision. It was like depth perception, meaning like he was basically like, we can't, you know, give ourselves credit for where we are today that we're like so close to where our goals want to be. But like when you were, you know, when you have cancer team through your body, it's hard to even know how to get past that step. So I just wanted to say that I recognize that. And um, I guess before my que- my question was going to be totally unrelated to that. It was just about graffiti, but I just wanted to tell you that. Uh, uh, I really appreciate that. That means a lot. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, my question was just kind of like, um, I don't know if you could kind of give me some perspective on graffiti because I'm not super, I don't have friends that do it. I've, I've had friends when I was growing up that used to deface stuff. And, but I, 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 I'm, I, I'm curious to ask your opinion about this. Cause like when I see people like true artists that are like, you know, go into a building and they paint something awesome on a building, but maybe they do it illegally, but they're, they're expressing themselves and maybe, you know, in ways to, I don't know, give, give something to the community yeah. I'm I'm curious like what your opinion is of of you know like I'm I'm sure there's a wide range of graffiti artists that are doing it just to like you know just do something illegal and then people yeah. that are truly like tagging things like yeah they're doing illegally but they're also trying to give back so I'm I'm curious to I guess I'm asking you like what is in your opinion um good public graffiti and what is like you know, where are people going wrong with it? So, so I call my like gallery work refined graffiti because it all comes from graffiti. Everything, I think everything comes from graffiti. I think it's all beautiful. I think the, this, the graffiti gives the city life. So whether someone's just doing it to be obnoxious or, you know, someone's doing something beautiful, they're both the same like purposeful, meaningful art. They're just two people doing it in different ways. Um, 
there's like graffiti wars. So people, there'll be like teams and they'll like, just have this certain name that they tag and they just want to put it up everywhere and they just want to win. And then there's, you know, artists like Banksy and one of my other friends, his name's Lucky. And there's people who are really using graffiti for marketing and they're using the streets as billboards. And that's where you'll see like the bigger pieces and the stuff like that. But then you'll have the, they're called bombers, the people who come in and just write. You'll have the bombers come in and graffiti over the beautiful pieces because people are going to look at the beautiful piece. And then they're also going to look at the name over the beautiful piece. So it's almost like, like I painted this, this painting. But after I got back from Miami, it says war in the streets and it's like Popeye's arm. So it really graffiti to me is really just like a bunch of, crazy artists like just fighting in the street with pain <laughs> i like that cool. that's nice very cool